this is Paul from the Tank Modeler channel with regards to my small update on my 1 16th Tiger, the Tamiya 1, the 1 16th uh, display model, not the radio control version. Although the insides are exactly the same as the radio control, apart from all the electronical bits are, are not in there, uh, including the tight rotation slip mechanisms and all the bits and pieces. But, but as I said, I've got this in 2001, I believe it was, and when it first came out, and, uh, and we're finally getting around to building it. I did start it back there, as I mentioned before, and uh, and then it was put back into box and uh, until uh, Switcher and I decided to build a, a Tiger One buddy build. So anyway, so here we go. Now <clears throat> I'm doing a lot of PE on the top half of this bucket cat uh, vehicle, and uh, I decided to go with the plastic fenders and uh, mud guards because of the fact that I, as I mentioned in the last video, my uh, I became ill over Christmas and I've tried to model and, and muck the fenders up using the soldering iron so I went away from that and, and decided just to go with the plastic ones as they do look nice and I can put a bit of extra detail on the top of the fender later just to add it like a butterfly nut on both uh, front med guards. Anyway so that's done that so you'll see that on the next when you see the whole vehicle on the, on the next update video but this is just to show you what I've been doing and, and very fiddly stuff indeed it is. It's the PE set that, that I got so I'm working on the smoke, the last thing I've been doing this week was working on the, the smoke fenders and the, the, some of the shovels and bits and pieces and I'm going to show you the details but I've actually got a couple of photographs uh, uh, that I've already taken uh, using the webcam which I, I, I hadn't used and now I'm quite impressed with that so I should be using that in future because the photographs are quite nice for the YouTube. So here we go. So what have I got done? So basically I've got the um, smoke chargers finished now, including their power bits and pieces. I don't know what this is going to work. Oh no, I know what I've got to do. Sorry, I've got to go to man, uh, put, um, modify the focus. Sorry, here we go. I know more is where it's got to go now. Got to go to about there. And there you can see it. A lot of detail in there. And if I turn them slightly, you'll see what I mean. There's even the bolts that are underneath that hold the plate onto each other. And include if I go to the other side, you'll see the mint they're even inside, even inside there. I think you can see that as well. So there you go. What I might do later on is uh, make some round charges to go in there because I've seen photographs where they're all complete with the uh, charges ready to go. I've done two of those. What I've also got is, uh, if I put it like that, I've also got the number of five. Oh, bring it back. Sorry, here we go. Keep doing this. You can see these two bits of um, solder wire. That is going to be going into in connecting these three wires to that into the vehicle. I've actually drilled a hole in the top of the the King Tiger turret, the turret, sorry, the Tiger One turret, where the, where it would go down. So once I've got these in situ, I should actually run the the, the solder wire, which will fold beautifully into the to, to the position and super glue it in place. And I found a new super glue I'm using uh, from this point on because I've. It's got it's got flexibility within the CA, so and I'll explain that and give you the name of the website to go to get it if there's anyone who's really interested. Right, next thing in, I'll show you a couple of other bits. Uh, I'll show you this. I've got a photograph of this on. I took, took a photo. This is one of the ones I took a photograph of. I think it was yes. Oh, here we go. Sorry, got to do the manual bit again. I think that's it. Yeah, you can see that. There you go. And those clasps take ages to actually do, and with little thin pins to go. They they end up being workable. But I've super glued him in place because I wouldn't. It's not a toy for me. I'll be won't be playing with it. But there you go. So that's that one. So if I put that down, um, put that back to normal focus. Sorry about this, guys, because manually it seems to play about a bit. Another thing I forgot to mention is each one of those tubes on there has got ten pieces on it. I think it's ten. Uh, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine pieces, I think it is nine pieces. So each one of those tubes has got nine bits of photo edge on it. Uh, so it was very fit, including the little chain that goes round and all, and drapes round. I don't know if you saw the chain. You might see that in the next photograph. I might be able to show you the chain. It's actually a bit of an angle. So I'll go back to what I was. Oh, sorry about this. If I go back, you'll see what I mean. I think it's about there. So if I go up here, then I do that. I think you might just be able to see the chains hanging, yeah you can, you just see the chains hanging down, so of course it would be in this sort of position on the tank, so if I come over I think now you can see the chains and the bits and pieces, oops, there you go, <laughs> it's all good to show, but they're definitely there anyway, so I'll put it back up that way, right back up again, so I'll, go, no, I'll leave the focus in there, so I'll bring it up, the wooden block, this is a true wooden block, I had to cut it to size, but just to give you a sort of an idea of what's in there, 
that that, that, that um, copper handle you can see there is actually folded into the shape and it actually still works. But uh, of course, because I've super glued the class clasp into position now, it, it won't. So not a problem because it's not going to be the working thing. But there you go. So it, it looks quite nice. There's a lot of detail there. I will stand it up. All the tools had to be done like this. Basically take all the class off, which most people would know now. And this one's ready to go. I've cleaned it up and, and, and thin the, the blade end of it so it's nice and thin and makes it look. I'm not sure whether we're going to use that because the fact is the picture I've got doesn't show it on the vehicle. And this is the, one of the class older shovel. There's one slight here. They have a different position. I don't know if that's going to make any difference to you, but I think you can see how small these things are. There you go. If I tip it slightly on its side, you can see it's got a stand that holds it straight off the vehicle as well. One stands low and the other stand is a bit higher. That's to allow for, as you see it on the vehicle. Another thing, um, the, the shovel. Let's see if I can do that for you. There you go, I think I've got the back right. The, the colour of that is because I heated it. I found with this actual photo in this set, you have to go really to to make it the red, make, make it glow red, before, and then it's actually quite nice to anneal. Um, but I did that one and didn't quite go to red. I wish I'd gone to red, but it still it looks the part. It's nice, so that's the main thing. And I also done the the axe. I'm not, I've got photographs of three of these, but I didn't put them all on. There she is, and that's ready to go. There you go, and that's ready to go as well. And that had to be folded over a few times, like you say. And the clasp, each clasp, but I can't remember how many pits hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces per each clasp. So it's quite a technical thing to muck about with, and they're so small. I had my old Binox on to do it, and it's good, so that was good. So that, that's what I've been working on. Now, my next phase is to start working on the, 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 the top plate of the shirt, the shirt, what I'm saying, the Tiger, to actually put the tow cables in position. Now, this is where I've cheated. Sorry, Switcher. <laughs> He'll laugh at this anyway. But the point is, he, he had problems with his tow cable being solid and i must admit i found i thought one of my my my, my copies was okay but it wasn't it, it, it every time i bend it, it it would have had so much force on these type of clips it would have actually ruined me no time so i went to welsh um what was it called uh hold on www.welshdragonmodels.co.uk and they do a lot of 1 16th models and also do they also do spares and bits and pieces photo edge sets and god knows what cables tow cables uh, sh shackles for the front of the vehicle made of metal what might metal so the really good site for anything you need in regards to the 1 16th and what I got is a set of these and as you can see straight away I think well you can't because I've got to pull this put this uh, that's it if I move this out of the way so so I don't damage them so if I push them over there out of the way they'll still be in view but there you go this is a um, now you can see straight away, and I, I think Switcher would agree with me, these are so pliable, you can just bend them and it will stay there. And there's no, I can't feel any pressure coming on my, me with this. So these are going to be perfect. The only thing with these is basically the ends. Um, but even that isn't too bad. So if I move the focus back to where it was for showing close, there you go, I'll go there. You'll see the metal, the metal's brass still there, but it's actually, it's actually the metal bar is actually all metal all round here and not white but the trouble is with a bit of paint on that you ain't going to notice that too much anyway so that's really good so they're going to be really brilliant for doing i'll put, put that back to focus again there you go so that's that's good i'm happy with that now so and i've test fitted on the vehicle it rolls into position it more or less stays there of course with these little safety clips and places that have got to be in place that will hold it lovely and it will look much better and obviously it will save me the worry of having all the pressure on the on these little Little, little clips that I'm making for them. Right, that's that bit. Now, the CA glue I talked about, where I talked about flexibility, uh, was this little devil. I don't know if this is going to focus. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll bring it up a little bit and do that. There she is. There you go. Flex flexible 5K CA. And I must admit, there's a video you can see and I will find the link for it and put it in there. But basically, all you need to do is do this. If I say this, go to this company, www.vms-supplies.com, 
they actually sell quite a bit more than this glue, but that's why I got my two, I got two of these, to, to, to get, so I've got a supply of them. Um, but they do a lovely uh, video showing you. So you go there, you can actually go on YouTube and put the VMS, VMS um, code on it, basically. You can put the VMS in it, but I'll put a link to it so you can actually find it easier. But that, that is a great company. I'll just, just show you a little bit quickly. These are the sort of things they do, air brush cleans. A lot of people do this anyway, but there's stuff there. I mean, I was more interested in their glues, but they do pigment binders and God knows what, and everything. So, but I was more interested in their glues, to be honest, once I saw this video. And uh, I sent a copy of it to Switcher, and he was impressed with it. And, and I must admit, I've tapped a couple of bits, because it's meant to give you, you know with super glue, it's got a perfect impact, but it's a perfect impact glue. But if you knock it up to, to the left or right, sometimes you can knock something off. With this stuff, with the CA, it's, and I'm not gonna say it's got CA glue in, uh, white glue in it, but it's got that white glue effect to it. So basically you stick it down, and then you can actually tap it either side, <coughs> excuse me and it won't come up come off which is good and that's what we really need and um, it's been and they should do a nice video with a test of it and I'll, I'll give I'll put the link below my video to explain what the, what we're doing on that so <coughs> back to this question I'll put this back in focus there you go right so that's where we are with that so wellsmokedragonmodels.co.uk uh, if you need anything 116th, well, obviously, uh, which is where I went for it. And I know uh, Swish has done it uh, for, uh, for fits for some of his target as well. And also for these, that, and they're godsend. I actually got two sets of these because I've got a, a Trumpeter 116th um, Panzer IV J to build with a full interior. And the, the, the actual cables are going to be very similar to that, made of wood, uh, made of... Wood, uh, made of um, uh, plastic I think they are uh, if they're in there with copper brilliant I've got a spare set of these anyway but uh, there you go so I've got a set for that as well and they're going to be very similar size so I can work around that anyway right then so next one be a few call outs now uh, one thing for Charlie Mack has fantastic um, uh, job on his gun truck I really loved it and uh, I think as I said to him when he's in, in the write-ups and I'll put the comment below about the fact that Mad Max would be uh, eating his heart out with a truck like that with all the amount of guns he's got on that so it would be a really good gun truck also, uh, for Solomon, uh, uh, who's did a few videos recently, um, he's looking really w w well, and I'm hoping that uh, he can carry on modelling. As he said, he wants to get back into modelling. He's got problems with his dexterity in his, one of his hands, I think it was. And he said, you know, it w it, after a while it uh, affects him. So it's hopefully, uh, hopefully everything comes back to normal there, and he can actually model for a little while and get some bits done to his uh, Arizona, I think it is, uh, yeah, in Arizona. Because um, that model was coming along nicely until he had his little slip up, so... Anyway, good luck to Solomon. Um, also, um, a call out to Hunter from uh, Showtime Studios again, because basically I learned a lot from his car build that he did, and it's fantastic uh, what he does. I've got another one to build later on. I've got a, a, a model to build for my local model shop at some point, and I'll be using all these techniques on that, and I've got a few other cars and bits and pieces to build over the next few years, so I'm looking forward to doing some shiny things as well. But um, anyway, back to the Tiger then. So my next update works because you should see the whole vehicle. Um, but it won't be for a little while now because I've got some more photo etching to do over this coming week. Um, and so, as I said, I'm going to get normally two hours to, to do bits and pieces, but it's worth it. So thank you very much for watching. And after this video, there'll be, I think it's three photographs showing you close-ups of the work on the smoke dischargers. There we go. I'll bring it all back in the view. The smoke dischargers and... Um, and some of the, and one of the tools I think it's that one yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a sledgehammer and I think it's the actual uh, wooden block just to show you the, the, how, how fiddly the things were but as well them nine things for each one of those tubes that's why it took so long and trying to bend the things into the shape as well so very fiddly but I got there in the end oh one of my other next tasks is and I put them on there is as you can see it's a cleaning mods for the old uh, for the tiger as well so that's all going to be done when i do this mechanism stuff the old disc so i can do it all in one go because that's one particular area when you think about it right thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one happy modeling bye